know that's about to be busting up. He used to call me his little Hollywood. He said, my name, one day my name is going to be in lights. But tell when you're coming up into it because you can smell it. You can smell the onions. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Diversity coming at you. What's up, my D3 tribe? And if you ain't part of the tribe, then you need to subscribe. How is everybody doing today? Good, I hope y'all. Today I am having some chicken alfredo. It's actually like lemon pepper chicken alfredo. Yeah. Some Caesar salad and we have some homemade garlic cheese toast. This is with the chapata, is it chapata bread? Chapata? Chapata bread. Chapata bread. Today, Junior. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, that's sea bread. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The nooks and crannies on it. Yeah, that bread right there. To drink, we have some H2O oh, as always. Ooh. Stay hydrated. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, And also, we have some Stella Rosa Platinum French Vanilla. We're going to go ahead and pop his cherry. We've got our Every Hour is Happy Hour glass, courtesy of Miss Cindy Morrell. Ooh, that sounds so nice. Salute to all the sippers in the house. Mm, and I've tasted this before, it's good. It says French vanilla, but it tastes like vanilla and citrus. Ooh, excuse, excuse, bro. All right, y'all. Y'all, I'm adorned today with a bracelet from our, oh, the owner of our fan page, Miss Naya. Ain't it cute? It's a K on it. I like it. It's so cute. All right, y'all. To pair with this, I have some two town spice sauce. Y'all know I got my boo. And also, I have some um, carbonara sauce because I like the way it tastes. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get things and get to grabbing. Okay, y'all, also doing this mukbang, we're going to be doing a QA. and a I didn't forget. Y'all, let's get some of this salad going on. This food probably cold. It is what T.I. is. On this salad, I have some, this is lettuce, the uh, rain lettuce, uh, jalapenos, croutons, a little Parmesan cheese, and some of the jalapeno juice. No, there's no dressing. Go and get your bite. You got it? No, you don't want it because it got no dressing on it? Oh, well. <laughs> My turn. Mm. <clears throat> the older I've gotten, the more I realize I prefer my salad without dressing. I'll eat with dressing. If not, dressed in dressing. I prefer it without dressing because I actually do like the taste of salad. I like the taste of the leaves. <laughs> the earthy taste. And, um, mm. salad dressing tends to overpower the taste of the salad to me. It, like, morphs the flavors or something else. People, like, drowning on this. Like, uh, people drown it. Like, I'm drowning this. It's time to stop! We're drowning in salad. I'm mean, like, you can't take the salad. It don't even taste like a salad. It's dressed with a couple of leaves thrown in there. <laughs> Child, y'all. We're gonna spice this up. Spice it up, spice it up. Thank you, everyone, who had watched our video. My comeback video. Appreciate it. It's cold. <laughs> I'll give y'all about it anyway, though. I guess I should have did it before I put all the hot stuff on it. But y'all know how I get down here. Go ahead and get your bite. Mm. It's still good. <laughs> it is still good. This is the favorite part of my meal. The bread, y'all. I love me some bread. Ooh, I am a bread whore. Ooh, I am. Mm-mm-mm. 
cardboard, period. I love curve. I know this is about to be busted. I put, I put some Earth Balance butter on my nook and crannies, some garlic powder. I put some of uh, the three blend Mexican, Mexican, the three cheese Mexican blend cheese and a little bit of mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And it's cilantro on top, y'all, because I love the taste. I like it. I like the cilantro. I don't like it. I don't know. What? I just like it. <laughs> I know it's gonna be good, y'all. If you haven't noticed, my appetite is back, y'all. He's back. <laughs> She's back. They back. That's so good. Mm, mm, mm. I must have been, I got a little help though. Remember I bust my behind there, I bust my behind yesterday. Remember? I told y'all I'd be hurting today. So I got, I got a little help with my appetite too. So I can't take all the credit for it, you know. Mary helped. She helped. Ganja, ganja. Anyway, did I finish? How y'all doing today? What are you eating on? What are you drinking on? What are you sipping on? And how was your day today? I hope it was well. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna lie, mine was bare minimum. Because your girl was feeling like the tin man. Mm -hmm. Feeling like the tin man, I want to cry like the, the cowardly lion. I wonder where Dorothy at. Oh, she went to click her heels so make the pain go away. I guess that's what Dorothy was. <laughs> mm. I forget somebody, and I. How can we forget Michael Jackson? The scarecrow! <laughs> See, I thought I was talking about the Wizard of Oz, huh? Nah, baby. We're talking about the eyes. Who's seen the eyes before? Drop it in the comments below if you've seen the Oscar before. I love that movie. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. Let's get into this Q&A. Actually, first off, let's do the travel notification shout outs. <clears throat> And this is coming from my last video I just uploaded, the king crab with the curry ramen. Plus, me trying eat, 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 eat with eat. I always put eats in there because it's like E's special sauce. Anyway, me trying E's special sauce for the first time and it was good, y'all. It will be back. It will be back. Mm -hmm. This from that video. And the travel notification shout out go to Mama D's bro. Hey, Hermana. Hey, me, Ellis. Fab Shares the channel. Y'all go ahead and check her out. And as well as a collaboration that we did together, me, her, and Dom, aka Bridge the Sticks. He also has a channel. Harmony Jones. Hey, love. And C. Marie Eats. <clears throat> she also has a channel. Go ahead and check her out. Lovely, 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 lovely. Her and her son. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being part of the Notification Tribe. I truly appreciate you, like always. If you'd like to be a part of the Notification Tribe, all you have to do is be within the first. What am I doing? Three. <laughs> the copy of my video and I'm shot you on the following video. Oh, kiss your who should be? If for some reason I forget to shout you out on my video, I would double up, triple up, quadruple up on the following video I record and shout you out then. Long story short, you will get your shout out, boo. Okay? Okay. Now on to these uh, Q and A. We're gonna do we're gonna do half today, and we'll do half the next video, <coughs> or the following video. <laughs> Cause I think in between we put one of the kids' videos. I have one of the kids' videos. So we go to my community tab. In the meantime, take this time to go and grab you something to eat or something if you're hungry. Go ahead. I'm looking. Go ahead. Take a couple minutes. Go ahead. Go. 
All right. Let's go for Go. Here we go. My little lady. You back? You back yet? You back with your food? Hurry up. We waiting on you. Come on, put it in the microwave and come on back. Throw it in the microwave, come on back. Okay? We're gonna take a pause for the call to quickly get your food. Throw it in the microwave, come on back. All right. So first off, we got King Larry 415. He said, damn D3, looking like a snack. Well, it's time to hop out of this van. Y'all, that was not a question. Uh King Larry, he's been with me for a while. King Larry's one of my old faithfuls. Hello, he's very Ooh, excuse me. And we have a little joke that he lives in my van, in my, uh, that's in my carport. We have a little joke going on that he lives in my van. I said I moved him into the back room. I don't know why he keeps saying he lives in the van. I don't know why he keeps going back to the van. Like, I told him he could live in the back room. And, like, I had it all good for him. But I guess he liked the van. <laughs> Mama D's will say, how are you so, hey, Ellis from again. She said, how are you so gorgeous? Uh, who do you look like, your mom or your dad? I already know the answer to this, but some of you, other D3 tribe may not. First off, thank you so much. You are gorgeous. Tell Dom, he kind of cute too. <laughs> anyway, I look more like my mother. Actually, I'm a blend of both of them, but I look, I have more of my mother's traits. Ooh, I, yeah, I'll crack a lack it. I have more of my mother's traits. I'm getting ready to insert a picture of my mom and my dad. All right, did you get the picture? All right. <clears throat> Next is Shay Snack. She said, look at, look at my beautiful big sis. No questions. Just sending positivity, love, and good vibes. Thank you, Shay Boo. Y'all, that is my boo thing right there. That's Shay Snack. She also has a channel, y'all. Awesome, 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 awesome woman. Go ahead and check her channel out as well as our collaborations. Yes, that's plural. And there'll be more to come. <laughs> I love me some Shay. Live Living says, I'm trying to be like you when you grow up. K got a body. I used to call her K got a booty, y'all. <laughs> My eyes got crossed. Anyway, K got a body said, beautiful queen. Tam B said, okay, cutie, I see you. Mini me. If y'all want to know what they're talking about, go, go look at the picture in the community post. You know, your girl was kind of a little bit. Yeah, she was. Uh -huh. I'm a hippie by day and I'm a hoochie by night. <laughs> Mini me said, beautiful. I have no questions. Just being positive and loving vibes your way. Thank you, Mini me. After Mathis. Hey, Kazo says, what is the name that Uncle Tommy used to call me? Okay. My Uncle Tommy is my grandmother brother. I love my Uncle Tommy. I used to get around. He's so handsome. Oh, he is. He's handsome. I'm good jeans. Anyway, I used to get around and say, um, if my Uncle Tommy wasn't my uncle, <laughs> he'll be my husband. Sweet home, yeah, I love my Uncle Tommy. We have a we have a really close relationship. Not like that. No, uh uh. Not like that. You know, we have a really close relationship. Back to the question that she asked me. My Uncle Tommy used to call me Hollywood. Like, since I was little, he used to call me Hollywood. So much so that none of my family even remembered my... Because they called me it so much that none of my family remembered my real name. So for years, they called me Hollywood. I think it's been the last three years or so that, um, that my extended family on my grandmother's side, that they knew what my real name was. <laughs> And now I have another title, Mr. Versity 3. He used to call me his little Hollywood. He said, my name, one day my name is going to be in lights. So he called me his little Hollywood. They like really, really country. They were born in, um, I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, listen. They were born in Valdelia, Georgia. Um, you know, that sweet onion capital. That's what the origin of sweet onions in Valdelia, Georgia. You could tell when you're coming up into it because you could smell it. You could smell the onions. Oh, excuse me. When you're driving into it. Anyway, we're going. It's the family. We have a family reunion every year, and it's coming up, y'all. That's ironic, and I'm doing it so close to the family reunion. It's on the weekend of July 4th, always, and I go and see my grandmother's side and her, and all the extended family and cousins and everything. We used to have a grand old time in the country, y'all. I love it. I love it. One year, last year, me and my cousin, and we rode to like the. It's already the country, but the country, country sticks like where there's barely any houses there, where the clay dirt is, so I can put my feet in the clay dirt. I loved it. I loved it. Went on a little uh, field trip for all our, um, well, all our ancestors used to stay at. Y'all, roots is everything. It is. God. I can tell a whole story about my people in Vidalia, Georgia. I can. And my grandmother, period. I did a biography on her one year <clears throat> in college. 
and they told us to pick someone who was like prominent in your life and there was there, everybody was picking like politicians and stuff like that to interview and um you know who mold molded mold you into the person you are today you know, i gotta get back to the thing because i was talking and i asked my professor can i do the, the autobiography of my grandmother because to me she she's my roots you understand what i'm saying she's my roots and everything all right y'all i'm so sorry y'all i'm passionate about this thing. okay so that was a cuzzo ethel all right nini's e she has a channel y'all check her out she just gave me a thumbs up and some hearts around the face Reese f said i have no questions your spirit is amazing and you're a wonderful mom thank you so much Reese. i try to be i try but as y'all all know parenting does not come with instructions <laughs> and when you fly solo it makes it that much harder Mm. But I really do try. Mm, mm, mm. Tamika Forward. Hey, Tamika. Destiny and Try. I always say that when I say her name. <clears throat> she said, How do I do the fast that you do? I need help. <laughs> I'm blow I'm get up. I'm she said, I'm blow up Katie. I'm dating. <laughs> blow up dating. Oh, blow up dating. I gained 15 pounds in two months. First of all, that was like boredom weight. You know, y'all just eating, sitting around eating, doing the, the coronavirus. Miss Beer. When she kept y'all in the house. So you should already start seeing results now that they open stuff up. Oh, you said you ain't going out. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so the fast that I do is either. Um, a liquid fast or sun up to sundown fast. I like the sun up to sundown fast because it gradually puts you into it. Um, the liquid diet, we only drink in liquid sometimes. <sighs> what was I going to say? There's something I want to say, but I can't get it out. It's in my head, but I can't, you know, it's in your head, can't get it out. That comes with a liquid diet. It's a little harder because it throws into ketosis faster. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all can tell. It goes into ketosis faster versus the sun up, sun down. Your body will start getting used to the sun up, sun down. The liquid diet is kind of like a fast, like hurry up fast. Because see, when the sun up, sun down, you're still eating, but you don't eat until the sun's down. So that limits the amount of time that you can eat. Um, we actually eat more than we're supposed to. You're supposed to burn off more than you eat in a day. But a lot of us consume more than we burn off. So with the sun up, sun down, it cuts the, cuts the amount of time that... Um, and that, it's also called uh, intermittent fasting. That one, right? It's called intermittent fasting as well. Sun up, sun down, and limits the time that you amount of time that you can eat, giving your body time to burn it off. My active hours are during the, the night, so that's why I choose to sun up, sun down because I feel like I'm less active during the day than I am at night towards the evening time. Um, you could switch it around and do uh, like you eat from the morning time to a certain time. Don't eat all at night. I know people do it that way too. With that, um, it trains your body, and after a while, your stomach starts to shrink. If your stomach doesn't have as much food in it, it will start to shrink on itself. It will. Making your appetite smaller. Like, you you can try, like, to eat more, and you'll feel like, oh, my God, I feel sick. I'm eating too much. I, so, I love that one. And it, it puts you into ketosis, too. Puts you ketosis. All right. Sorry, y'all. Another tangent. Anyway, more Bigger Bites vlog said, girl, you look good. <laughs> Queen SMR say, cute outfit. Yes, girl. DeAndre Lee. DeAndre Lee say, okay, hot mama. All right. Jonah Hayes say, how do you start a YouTube channel? And how do you get along with your sister the way y'all do? First of all, we're, um, I'll answer the second part of that first. Um, we're a close-knit family. And I love my sister. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're talking about um, T from T Lee TV. We're all, we're all a close-knit family already. Talking about all of my family. And then me and T were so close in age. And we're the same time, one at the same time. You know how they have like the, what do they call like the twin thing? What is it called? Twin, some tent twin connection or something like that. Me and T, although we're not actual twins, we've always had this sort of connection where we understand each other. Like, I can tell, like, when she's going to do her quiet time, she don't want to be bothered, and vice versa. She can tell with me. She can tell if something's wrong with me, even if I'm not speaking it. And same way, we have, like, this thing always since we were little. And I don't know. I don't think I don't think I've ever gotten in a fight with her. We have arguments, we're sisters. But I don't think I've ever gotten, like, a rah, rah, I don't want to talk to you. I think T, 
I, I don't think so. Oh, well, I think there, yep, there was one time in my life, one time in my life, it wasn't me. <laughs> but that's how I think we get along so well. And how do I start a YouTube channel? Just start. If you're just using your phone, and that's what I still use, the phone. Set your phone down, think of a nick that you want to care to, and just start. Above all, be yourself. Because, excuse me, of course you're going to be a little shy in the beginning. I mean, that's normal. All I can tell you to do is just start. Just do it. Now, keep it up with it. That takes a lot more work. <laughs> I'm about to pass you off to one of my brotherings who are doing a better job than me <laughs> to give you more advice on that. Katie, angelic life say wow because so beautiful. Thank you, Katie. Daryl Hanks say <clears throat> hello, Miss D3. I really love this picture of you. Thank you, Daryl. Flora's loves life said okay, looking cute. Thank you, Flora. I'm going to say I'm going to love to see if we got to come back. Oh, I can finish it off. Florida Love Life. Okay, Lady STB say, okay, looking good, lady. Thank you, Lady S. Kathy L., which is my, um, another, she's a cousin. Her and Ethel are, are actually related. She's my cousin, too. I'll see you soon, because, so where's your vacation? Where's your favorite vacation place? Miami, Florida is my favorite vacation place, because it's home. I mean, what's better than vacation and home? I don't know. Maybe when I start traveling the world, I'll change my mind. Or it'll come to a point where there's no family left there. Maybe it might change right now. Miami, Miami. Trail fire, y'all. I mean, it's like I'm traveling different countries anyway. It won't stop. <laughs> yeah. I'd be Jamaica one day, Haiti the other day, Cuba the other day, Mexico another day. Y'all, y'all know how it is. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> All right. Blanco say, you big sexy mama. <laughs> Thank you, Blanco. Kool-Aid Peppers. Hey, KP, I seen you a little bit. It's an absolutely gorgeous you are. Thank you, KP. Jeanette Ortiz says, Jeanette Ortiz said, hello, you looking beautiful today. Thank you, Jeanette. Miss Sexy Cuba, Kiba, Kiba, one says cute with uh, purple hearts. Tamika Ford. Hey, Tamika, she in there again, y'all. Say, woohoo, hot mama. Hey, sis. Hey, Tamika, Destiny Tribe. Chocolate Bubblegum says, what do you use on your skin and locks? Your skin and hair is always so beautiful. Thank, first of all, thank you, Chocolate. Um, on my skin, I water. On my skin, water. And if I have makeup on, baby wipes, take it off. Bare minimum. If I feel like my skin is just nasty. <clears throat> but I need a little bit more. I'll use baby shampoo. You gotta get you a good baby. Don't get you some crazy baby shampoo. Go for a hy hyperallergenic baby shampoo. Like go to Whole Foods and get your baby shampoo. Because your face is one of the most sensitive places on your body. You really don't want to put anything on your face that's going to make it too dry. Or make it too oily. On the rest of my skin, I use just regular soap, liquid, because in bar soap, you have to put extra stuff to make it solidify. Well, not solidify. To make it uh, harden like that. They have to add, add extra stuff to that. If you'll notice that bar soap dries your skin off more. Anyway, I digress. On the rest of my body, after I take a bath, I use my, my bath shake mixture. I think I'm lying, but I use that every day. And after I get out, I use my hand whip um, coconut butters that I make. I know. So I know what's going into my stub. <laughs> what's going on me? I use that for the rest of my body. And then with the stuff on my hands, I rub it and then put it down like on my face. Just a little bit, very little. When you use a lot of extrinsics or a lot of strong stuff on your face, you end up throwing your face into a tizzy. I mean, you use stuff like, oh, my skin is over oily. Your skin is probably over oily because it was dry. So what you do? Put something on to dry it out. And your skin go crazy. I produce more oil, makes it more oily. It's a vicious cycle. And what you do? Put something on to dry it out. 
it's a vicious cycle and then it's dried out now you gotta put something on it to you know make it uh moisturize again it's, it's crazy why are you doing that let's just get it alone leave it alone just leave it alone put a little moisture on it and leave it alone but some of you are already in a vicious cycle and it's hard to break and then you get you see all this breakouts and stuff like that and it's not all about what you put on your skin actually what you put in in your body too makes a big of a difference i try to make sure that um i cleanse and do a cleanse because i know everything i put in my body is not the best but if you eat very very poorly it shows in your face it will come out your pores also i know this sweeten y'all having regular uh bathroom trips you gotta be regular too all those toxins build up in your body y'all can do a whole segment about this anyway you just asked me what i put on my skin girl i answer that if y'all want me to do a segment about skincare i will Drop it in the comments below. All right. Basilicious Spice says, get it, girl. She cute. Thank you, Basilicious. She has a channel as well, y'all. Tree Yancey. She's very similar to me. Her kids are, um, her kids are mixed with Asian, too. Tree Yancey said, just wanted to say you are a beautiful black cream. Thank you, Tree. Beverly Smith said, hey, beautiful. You are so sexy. How tall are you? <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. Um, I'm short. <laughs> I'm about to tell my two y'all. I'm five foot and a half. I think I may have lost my half, but I still claim it. <laughs> Tamika says, how do I find balance between YouTube and my new company and the kids? First off, there's never equal balance. I don't even think there exists. It really doesn't. It doesn't. Because it's only one of you. <clears throat> so what I do is I incorporate things. Something's gonna suffer. Something's gonna suffer. You have to choose what it is. It's not gonna be my family. And I want business to be successful. So you my YouTube is suffering a little bit. I'll find a more um it will never be equal, but I'll find a uh I'm finding my rhythm. So there'll be less YouTube videos that I'll be posting until I can find my rhythm of business. Now when I can delegate different responsibilities to other people within my business. Then I don't feel my time. You see how it's not even? See what I'm saying? It's still not even because I'm having somebody else delegate. As far as with my kids, I incorporate them. I incorporate them into my YouTube. I have them doing different aspects. I incorporate them into my business. Everyone has roles. No one makes the no one makes the stuff though. Only me. <laughs> but they can do other things like other things that go in there, like your cars, like that paper has to be cut, and uh, Larry's my labeler. Labels have to be made stuff like that. So I delegate them so it's together, everything's together. And not like excuse me. And not like just separate. Okay, don't bother me because I'm doing this. Don't bother me because I'm doing that. If I incorporate it in them, then everybody has a part in it. Gives them a sense of pride too. It really does. Alright, y'all. This ain't no one I because I don't been bumping my gums too much again. Ciao. Just shut up. Shut me shut up. Let me get back down to it. All right. J Love said, Do I want more kids? Have I accomplished most of the of what I want in my life? Yes, I do want one more child, but I'm on a time schedule with that. If I don't have it by the time I have set in my head, then I'm I'm c i am i am already content with my three, but I would like one more. But if I don't meet that time schedule, then and certain stimulations. Then I'll uh, just have my three. Have I accomplished most? Of yes, actually, I've, I've accomplished more. I believe more. I honestly can say I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about what I've accomplished so far. Mm. And most of the time, by myself. I've learned, though, as I get older and you grow, the things that seem so important to you before and don't seem as important before and the things that didn't seem, mm, maybe you want to do them, you really want to do them before. I mean, you really want to do them now. But to ask your question, <clears throat> yes, um, I feel I have accomplished most of what I want. There's other things I would like to do, but where I'm at now, I feel I have. Jassy V said, you are beautiful. Thank you, Jassy. Her mama, Mama D's well again. Once again, she has the channel. Check her out, as well as our collab. She said, tell us things we didn't know about Sola. Well, y'all know Sola's the smartest hat. She's, she's very smart. 
What's the thing you have to know about her? I, mean, I don't know, you may know that. But she'll scream for hours if nobody will come and pay her no attention. For hours. For hours. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get on to her. Um, Solis was a rescue doll. Um, she was about to go to the pound. The guy posted her. He was giving her away. He was going to take his dog to get um spayed. Yeah, that's what it was, right? And he found out that she was pregnant. And that's what Solis. So I ended up getting Solis as a um, winter solstice gift for the children. I was surprised my guy for work one night and went straight all the way across town to the north side towards the airport. And I picked her up. And she was so black. So you can see in the back seat. So I got the kids and I brought them out. Because I already told them they can't have a dog. They can't have a dog. I brought them out. <clears throat> brought her out, brought them out, and I told them to get in the car. They said, where are we going? And I didn't tell them Solos was back there. I told them to just get in the car. So they didn't realize, you know, Solos was back there, although they're sitting right next to her. So we get to drive it. And so she comes, she gets up, right? And I see her, and see her eyes. It was like, <laughs> she got scared at first. And then after they were screaming, they were happy. They were, oh my God, it's a puppy. They were so happy. So um, after that, though, Nile was diagnosed, not like not right after, maybe like a year after, not even a year. So it was like a couple of months then. She had diagnosed with brain tumors, and I trained Solis actually to recognize her seizures. Because remember, they start getting worse, and she would bark and howl and moan when they were having seizures. She even came and got me one time when I was in the bathtub, and the lives downstairs. So um, she's actually a service doll as well. Not only LA, her seizures have been under control, and that we live in a, a downstairs house. Like I've been in the washroom layer. She's gotten lazy, yeah. So she has like no service. No, she's just a brat. <laughs> no, she's just a brat. I guess, I mean, she probably can convert back. I don't know. I hope she can. Oof. Anyway, and last but not least, it's just it for all. She says, I look better than you. Okay, Justice. And? Okay. <laughs> you want a cookie? <laughs> anyway, y'all. Thank you, everybody, that participated in our... <laughs> Y'all, you just, just got to laugh at stuff like that. Thank you for everyone that participated in our q and I appreciate y'all. Mm. I like this bread. Mmm. I'm gonna be on long enough, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. That's all I like something kid is saying, huh? This is my second time looking at seeing that. I was like, I responded to it. I'm like, that's not the kid. But it's not a kid. It's a grandma behind with me, y'all. Oh, my God. Y'all, this food so good. I'm definitely going to finish this. I can tell you that right now. Mm-mm-mm. That's a nice little size right there. A couple of hours come back and eat it because it's still early. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna smash that. <coughs> oh, she was a cute bird. That was some awkward silence, wasn't it? That's what happens when you're eating. All right, guys. We've come to the end of our program. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on our chicken alfredo plus homemade garlic, cheese bread, and salad mukbang. Like always, if you like to see it and you want to see more, oh, keep your coming. Oh, shoot. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit subscribe and come probably try. The retry. It's like something in my teeth, y'all. Let me talk about me. Turn your post notification to notify of any and every video that we release. Comment below and send us there. Share, share, share because sharing is caring. Give this video a big old like or just like and wish your cup of tea and stay tuned for more. And if you haven't already, check out the Rachel Layla Layla's Gotcha gotcha channel. I'll look be in my description box below. As well as the Nay Nay's TikTok and you don't stop. I'll look be in my description box below as well, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop your birthdays. In the last video that I posted, the King Crab for the birthday shout out, drop the birthdays and your names. And to next time, peace, love, and lots of hair grease. Deuces.